My, 25F, girlfriend, 23F, has health issues that make me worry about what kind of future we can have together. How do I open slash talk about this without making her feel bad about something she has no control over? My, 25F, girlfriend, 23F, has chronic and degenerative health issues that have me worried about what kind of future we can have were together for about a year, separated for a year, and have recently gotten back together. She is brilliant and funny, always pushing me to be more than a homebody and try new things, which I like, I just get lazy when left to my own devices, and we always have fun together even if we're just grocery shopping or cleaning one of our apartments. But GF's health condition has made big changes since the first year we were together. Previously, her bones would break easily and was frequently in some kind of cast and caught things like colds and the flu very often. But now she uses crutches when she leaves home and struggles to go up and down stairs. She is in pain every day just from going about her daily activities. She is brave and smiling and works so hard despite all this and never complains. I admire her and care for her so much, and I don't mind helping her with doors and carrying things for her. But this much change in just two years has me worried about what the future will look like. What will daily life look like in another two years? What about ten? How much longer will she be able to walk? Will I have to drive her to work every day? Help her out of bed? Will we never get to travel like I've always wanted? Will all of the housework and care for both our pets fall on me? Will she leave me as a widow at 40? 50? I am afraid that I may find myself as my partner's caretaker much sooner than anyone ever imagines. We have talked a lot about the future, but we have never talked about this part of it. I know that these worries are holding me back from committing fully to the future we have talked about. But I have no idea how to open the topic and express these worries without sounding like a or coming off like I'm saying something is wrong slash not good enough about her. I already have a hard enough time expressing when small things bother me, I feel like this huge thing is please, any tips, experience, or advice would be greatly appreciated. Thank girlfriend's health condition has her struggling to walk and will only get worse. How do I express my worries and talk to her about how her health will affect our future? I have a chronic illness, and it played a big role in ending my engagement in a relationship that was 10 years long. I can tell you, this is probably something that's already on her mind. My advice would be to take some time to really think, do you see yourself with her in the future? Would you want to marry her if you know she may not be able to work? or may need help often. You need to really think about what you want your future to look think it's worth having a conversation with her. I would simply ask about her condition and how she sees her future, and what she would like to happen versus what she thinks may happen. For instance, maybe she's on a medication that takes a while to work or close to switching meds which may change things for her. I wouldn't bring up your relationship in this talk. I would just ask about her condition, how she feels, let her vent, and find out how progressive it is or what she foresees happening. I just want to really stress that you need to think about you and what you want. The worst thing for those of us with an illness is being left high and dry after years with someone. It's okay to not want to be a caretaker. You need to think about your lifestyles, do you party and she can't? Do you like to be very active and that's hard for her? and figure out if this will work for you. First of all, thank you for being so articulate about you're a person who has a chronic illness I understand where both of you are coming also appreciate a lot how you are trying to consider a future and plan for question is, do you feel like you could, want to care for her? In the sense of, would the responsibility just be a burden for you and nothing more or would you find ways of still enjoy each other's company? I don't know if you don't want to say, but do you know all the names and diagnosis she has? I think it's important to sit down and say you care about her and want to understand everything she deals with. Is she comfortable talking to you for a bit about her medical diagnoses and teaching you more about them because you want to know? 
because yeah, I think that's a place to hopefully start out of concern more. I want to know how to help you and what this means for you and me in the future. I have some chronic pain issues and I think it's important to have as clear a picture of the future as possible in any relationship. Health, kids, marriage, just talking about the future in general together and where things could go. Best of luck. I think it's really important to discuss these things directly. Also, it's good to educate yourself about her specific health issues and about disability aids. My body is weak and can't walk for long distances, so I have used a variety of aids like a mobility scooter or a power chair to let me travel independently without fatiguing as much. Various things like that may allow her to work around limitations to a larger extent than you probably realize people can. But health problems do cause a lot of limits. Worries like her not being able to do her share of housework or care for pets might be a very valid problem. You might become an early caretaker. These are things to both discuss and research. You need a reasonable view of what a future with her might entail. I can tell you that having a partner who isn't sure if you wanted to stick with me despite the major drawbacks would probably be worse than being dumped early into our relationship. It's okay to decide you don't want to take on the life that being with someone with severe health problems entails, but it's worth learning as much as you can so you can make a true, informed decision. My late husband had Marfan syndrome, which is a genetic connective tissue disorder. We met when I was 18 and he was 20. We got married when I was 22 and he was 24. In the time between us meeting and us getting married, he had surgery to repair his aorta. Surgery to replace the dislocated lenses in his eyes with artificial ones. Two more surgeries when the artificial lenses dislocated. And then surgery to repair a detached retina. That one happened two days before our wedding. Further. This disorder is a dominant genetic disorder. People who have it have a 50-50 chance of passing it on to their children. Marfan is not considered a degenerative disorder, but it can lead to a huge number of health problems. He ultimately died at age 32 after an aortic dissection that was successfully repaired. An abdominal aortic aneurysm that was repaired but caused him to be critically ill for months and led to him becoming paralyzed from the chest down. I was his caregiver for the eight months between when he became paralyzed and when he died. We did not get to have children, we wanted to adopt and were in that process when he became paralyzed, but never resumed it before he died. Anyone can get cancer. Anyone can get hit by a bus and become paralyzed. Anyone can get any number of chronic illnesses that can lead them to need a caregiver. My dad got stage 4 colon cancer at age 47. He's fine now, fortunately, a chronic illness is not, in itself, a reason to believe that you and she cannot have a life together. But it is something that you need to understand and learn about and determine what your boundaries are. If you do not know what her particular diagnosis is, it's time to find it out and start learning. There's probably a subreddit, a Facebook group, or both. There is absolutely some way for you to make contact with people who are partners of someone with this illness, so you can understand what your life with your girlfriend may look like in the future. For me, I had absolutely no way of knowing that my husband would die at age 32 people with Marfan can and do live full lifespans, and I expected him to be one of them. Being his caregiver was one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. But I'm still glad I married him, I'm still glad we had 13 years together total and 8 years of marriage. I would do it all over again with him, even knowing what I do now. If you guys are considering a future together, you need to be having conversations about what that future will look like. Those conversations will have to include discussions about her health and prognosis. Counseling for you may be a good idea as it seems like you have a lot of anxiety about this. The first step is absolutely a conversation with her though. I wish both of you the best, growing heart, growing heart. I have a chronic condition and it has worsened the most in last year. 
My boyfriend of one year is clearly trying but I can tell he is worried even when something small happens. It sucks to have somebody being unsure if they will be able to handle this and still be there for you. I would suggest you to politely talk to her about it. Write down your feelings first and then express them, be honest, if you think you probably cannot handle this. Don't do this to yourself or as I was typing this comment. My boyfriend dumped me over text, in supposedly the most difficult time of my life. Life is cruel. I took care of someone through the end of their life as they were sick with cancer. She told me that as much as it to be in her shoes, she wondered how hard it was for me. Because people think that the real reason healthy people struggle to stick out these situations is because it's a lot of work or the person doesn't like being around the depression. That's not true, though, is it? The hard part is the helplessness of watching someone you love hurt so much and not being able to do more than help them to a chair or bring them a drink. You'd fight the monster that's hurting them inside with your bare hands, but that's not an option. And your dreams of the things you could do together are replaced with sleepless nights and desperate pleas to an uncaring universe to ease off on your loved one. Oh and the absolute sharpest dagger is the guilt. The guilt when you catch yourself laughing or being happy while your loved one is suffering, the guilt because you can't do anything to save them. Like your love isn't strong enough, the guilt that you're healthy and they aren't. The guilt that one day they might be gone and you'll be carrying on without them. That was my experience anyway. I just smiled at my loved one when she brought it up and made a joke to distract her. Months after she passed I would still catch myself needing to scream every once in a while from the sheer pain of the my case, I hated every minute of it. And I don't regret a second of it. Because I would have given anything to have more way I see it, you have to grieve some of those dreams. You really are losing something, and you have to grieve it. But at the same time, you have to remember that they were always just dreams. Life could have taken any number of turns that would have changed the path of your relationship, and all those idealized ideas of what could have been would have eventually solidified into some less shiny reality. It just so happens that this is the reality that yours turned out to be. I think if you grieve the dreams some and are able to accept more of what your current reality is like, you'll gain some clarity about what you really want. Maybe you can't do it. Maybe you need to go. I would understand. But also maybe you'll find that the reality you two share today might not be everything you dreamed. But it's everything don't think this is a conversation that you should have with her right away. I think you should talk to a professional or join a group therapy situation. You need to be able to process these very real, very difficult feelings without having to tiptoe around hurting her. She also needs to go through what she's going through without worrying about what's eating you. It's okay, even best, for both of you to get some extra help with this part, so that you can show up for each other. After you've worked some of these things out with a professional, you might find it easier to navigate them together. TBH this is above red is pay grade. I'd recommend professional counseling to help you through this, both individually and as a couple. Husband of 42 years dumped me for his student when I developed osteoarthritis and rheumatoid difficult enough struggling with a medical condition that negatively impacts your ability to engage with life. But that kind of behavior from someone you trusted really knocks how you value to have the difficult conversations early I think. Better to say you can't do it, if you think you can't. Greater than would the responsibility just be a burden for you and nothing more or would you find ways of still enjoy each other's company? The most important question that needs to be answered truthfully by up. Over a year? Sheesh. I'm so also have a progressive chronic illness. So I know you are strong. You'll be okay. But it sucks, honey. Frown. Holy I'm so sorry. That really, really sucks. Disappointed face, big hugs from a random stranger. I'm so sorry dude. This probably doesn't help, but I found out recently that men are much more likely to leave their partner if they have a long-term illness. They don't like being caretakers, even if it's for someone they love. 
I don't see most of my able-bodied friends anymore, but the friends I make now are people who understand or empathize with my condition. I'm single too, and even though it's hard, it's better than being with someone who may resent or even abuse me, as disabled and sick people are very vulnerable to abuse. Please take care of yourself. I asked my dad if he was thinking about leaving my mom when she became disabled, after 35 years of dad and I have a rocky relationship, but I have a good deal of respect for him that his response was basically are you nuts, she's my wife. I'm sorry. I have RA and this is honestly a big fear of mine even though my husband has been extremely supportive. But I was able to find effective treatment fairly quickly, from what I've seen, and am pretty lucky in that regard. But I think, what if that changes and I get worse? I don't have a crystal ball and neither does Op's girlfriend. She might not have the answers he wants. I can't fathom doing this to someone I love. You deserve better. How do you even answer honestly when it's not even happened yet though? I've been the caretaker for family and even though there's love, it's op has no way of knowing how she'll feel about this a decade down the line. It's one of the shittier parts of the human fixed gender. I wouldn't expect a 23 years old to be capable of making an informed decision about this it's so hard to accurately imagine the immense strain and stress of being a caretaker, even for someone you love desperately, until you've gone through it or watched someone you are close to go through it. This will also be greatly impacted by the social services available where OP is living. If in the US and they aren't rich, it will likely be a soul and finances experience. Whereas if they live somewhere that actually has a social safety net with supports for disabled people and their caretakers, it could be much closer to inconvenient but not horrible.